Um, I wanted to ask if somebody within their ignorance or their past had wronged others verbally, but they changed and they now know it's a major sin that they've done and they regret it. And they've mended with many people and made a lot of repentance, but some are left as they assumingly aren't the most forgiving or might cause problems, but it might be good as well to tell. And some ignored it. The person has made many du'as for them in repentance for this, but still feels despair and doubts the ruling on repenting and doing good deeds as it seems like it contradicts the hadith of no dirham nor dinar. And they see videos and reminders of the specific sin. And then it makes them isolate and feel depressed. And then they go into the cycle of doing the same thing again, but it makes it worse. Is Toba really it? And is doing that specific fatwa you gave and many other scholars gave really it? And is there any evidence for it? Because they're doubting it. So on what basis are they doubting it? And in what uh, uh, account a person comes and just walk out of thin air and say, is that it? On, on what ground are you challenging it? Mm, well, the person kind of feels like it contradicts the hadith because it says to go, or like it lures for that person to go apologize. And the fatwa says to not apologize to that person because it might make it worse. So and it seems like they're- So it, you, you're doing exactly like someone says that lying is prohibited in Islam. And if a murderer knocks on my door, barging in, asking about a specific individual who's hiding under the bed or in a closet, scared for his life, and he's asking, is this individual in the house? And you say, well, I can't lie. I have to say, yeah, he is under the bed. And he goes and kills him. Is that a, log a logical thing? Because it goes under the main guidelines not to lie? Yes or no? No, it's not a logical thing. Okay. Likewise, this assumption that individual has that we have to go and tell people about the things that we've wronged them, and this is so that we would not face the problem of dirham and dinar on the day of judgment, and that they will take from our good deeds and they'll throw their bad deeds on us and then we'll be throwing hellfire is not applicable in every single case because this is general. When there is a greater evil that may be a consequence to telling people about your uh, past and the things that you've wronged them with, Islam says, no, refrain. If telling people that Listen, a couple of years ago, I stole from your store money. I stole $10. And this means that they're going to report me to the police and they'll incarcerate me and probably throw me in jail for a couple of years. Nobody in his sound mind would say, no, you have to do this. No. For such a trivial amount, the evil that is resulting from coming up front and, and, and saying the truth is far greater than whatever is uh, anticipated from the reward. Therefore, we have to weigh the pros and cons, and we have to, uh, and to commit or to do the lesser evil of the two. If I know that this individual, if I tell him about the things I said about him or the wrong things I did about him in the past, he would come and torture me or it would cause a greater fitna or maybe severing kinship or maybe causing me to go into jail or causing uh, um, uh, a great deal of trouble to others. No, Islam tells you, you don't have to do this and Allah knows best.